Hello everyone, I am Kiran Joshi. Hope you all are fit and fine. This is the second video of class 8 history chapter The Making of the National Movement 1870s to 1947. In the first video we learnt that during 1870s and 1880s many political organizations were formed among which Indian National Congress was the prominent one. These organizations tried to develop the feeling of nationalism among people and raise voice against the British rule. We learnt about the various demands of the Indian National Congress from British government, about partition of Bengal and Swadeshi movement, about moderates and extremi uh, extremists and about the formation of All India Muslim League. Children, the feeling of nationalism grew and spread with the passage of time and after the First World War in 1919, this struggle against the British rule became a mass movement or people's movement because now peasants, tribals, students and women were also involved in large uh, numbers in the struggle against British rule. Even some factory uh, workers and business groups also started participating in national movement. What brought these people and groups to support the movement against the British rule? You will get to know this through this explanation. During the First World War, the economic and political situation of India changed a lot. Due to the war, British government in India had to spend a great amount on uh, defence. So, uh, to collect more revenue, it increased taxes on individual incomes and business profits. In addition to this, there was a sharp rise, uh, rise in prices of commodities. Thus, the common mass faced a lot of problems. While the business group, uh, groups made a lot of profit, Let's see how. You already know children that during the war the industrial goods such as uh, jute bags, cloth, rails etc. were at great demand and their imports uh, had declined. This provided a great opportunity to Indians, uh, Indian industries to expand. The business groups started to demand for greater protection and opportunities for development. To meet the demands of the war, the British had to expand their armies also by recruiting more soldiers. And for this, the British government forced the villages for uh, more supply of soldiers. Soldiers had to go abroad. Many soldiers who came back to India after the war had understood that the colonial rule was exploiting the people of Asia and Africa in various ways and therefore they too had developed a strong feeling against the British rule. One more thing that inspired the Indian mass to struggle against British rule was the revolution in Russia in 1917. The news of Russian peasants and workers' struggles and ideas of socialism spread widely and became a motivational incident for Indians. Children, uh, it was also the time when Mahatma Gandhi emerged as a leader of common mass. Many of you uh, may be knowing that Mahatma Gandhi came to India from South Africa in 1915 at the age of 46 years. In South Africa, racial discrimination was practiced and Gandhiji led Indians uh, there in non-violent marches against the racist uh, restrictions. By his non-violent marches, he had gained a lot of respect at international level. While um, uh, campaigning against racial discrimination in South Africa, he came in contact with various types of Indians. Indians of different religions such as Hindus, Muslims, Parsis, Christians. Indians from different regions such as Gujaratis, Tamils and North Indians. Indians practicing different occupations such as upper class merchants, lawyers and workers etc. After arriving in India for almost one year, he travelled throughout the country to understand the people, their problems and needs 
and the overall situation initially he was involved in some local movements such as uh, champaran kheda ahen and ahmedabad through these movements he came into contact with dr rajendra prasad and sardar vallabh bhai patel in ahmedabad he led a successful strike of uh, mill workers in 1918 in 1919 the british government passed the rollet act which empowered the government to imprison anyone without a trial and to search any place without a search warrant thus made the police more powerful and uh, restricted the free, uh, people's freedom of expression Mahatma Gandhi, Muhammad Ali Jinnah and many other leaders opposed this act by saying that the government had no right to check the basic freedom of Indians. They ex- extensively criticized this act. Uh, Gandhi ji asked the Indian people for a nationwide non-violent opposition by observing 6 April 1919 as a day of humiliation and prayer. and hartal that is strike the uh, he founded the satyagraha sabhas to launch the movement of uh, protesting against the rollet act the rollet satyagraha became the first all india struggle against the british government uh, though it was limited mainly to cities in april 1919 there were demonstrations and strikes from one end of the country to the other Uh, one end of the country to the other the uh, government used tough and brutal measures to put down these protests and there were firings and lathi charges the jallianwala bagh massacre on 13 april on baisakhi is the example of such repression children this day, on this day people were peacefully protesting uh, at jallianwala bagh in amritsar against the arrest of two nationalist leaders dr satyapal and dr saifuddin kichlu uh, when a british officer general dyer entered the park with his troops uh, he blocked its only exit and ordered his troops to fire at the gathering hundreds died and thousand uh, thousands injured in this massacre as a mark of protest and expression of grief and anger of the country uh, ravindranath tagore returned his knighthood to the british government children knighthood is the title or an honor given to a man uh, by the british crown for his achievements or uh, public service During the Rollet Satyagraha Mahatma Gandhi urged the participants to ensure the Hindu Muslim unity in the fight against British rule. Children Mahatma Gandhi always thought and saw India as a land of all people uh, who lived in the country whether Hindus or Muslims or of any other religion. he wished that they should support and cooperate each other in any just and fair cause for example the khilafat agitation after the first world war the british imposed a harsh treaty uh, the treaty of uh, sever uh, sever 1920 on the turkish sultan or khalifa this angered the people in india especially the muslim population Uh, muslim leaders started the khilafat movement to mark their protest against the injustice done to turkey and to put pressure on the british that the khalifa be allowed to retain control over muslim sacred places in the rest while ottoman empire the leaders of the khilafat agitation mohammad um, ali and shaukat ali wanted that uh, wanted that a full fledged uh, non cooperation movement to be initiated gandhi ji saw this call as a golden opportunity for cementing hindu muslim unity and an alliance was formed between the khilafat leaders and the indian national congress both agreed to fight against jallianwala bagh massacre the khilafat wrong and to demand swaraj through the non cooperation movement 
this movement was called the non cooperation movement because it asked people to boycott british goods and refuse to work or cooperate with the british rule large quantities of foreign goods were burnt especially the clothes at uh, many places the charkha and khadi became symbols of this movement the imports of foreign clothes decreased a lot between 1920 and 1922 many students left government controlled schools and colleges and joined the joined the nationalist movement some people gave up government jobs lawyers such as uh, motilal nehru c r das c rajgopalachari and asif ali boycotted the british courts and gave up their practices british titles were surrendered and legislature boycotted the leaders of the khilafat movement and the congress spoke now publicly against service in the army and the police mostly the movement was non violent uh, but in some cases people interpreted gandhi ji's call for non cooperation in their uh, own ways Uh, that were not in accordance uh, with gandhi ji's ideas in, uh, in both cases they associated their movements of uh, movements to uh, local injustice the kheda uh, in kheda gujarat uh, patidar uh, peasants uh, campaigned against the high, uh, highland revenue demand of the british Uh, in coastal andhra and interior tamil nadu liquor shops were picketed uh, children picket means uh, to stand outside a shop or a building uh, and prevent others to enter or purchase another example is of the guntur district of andhra pradesh where tribals and poor peasants uh, uh, organized forest satyagrahas and sent their cattle into forests without paying grazing fee this was a mark of protest actually uh, against the restriction imposed on them to use forest resources they believed that gandhi ji would make their taxes reduced and help in getting the forest regulations abolished they declared swaraj and uh, believed that gandhi raj was about to be established in sindh Uh, Sindh is the place uh, which presently is in Pakistan, and in Bengal, the Khilafat Non Cooperation Alliance strengthened communal uh, unity and national movement. In Punjab, a Kali agitation was uh, to remove corrupt mahants from their gurudwaras. This uh, agitation was closely associated with Non Cooperation movement. the tea garden garden laborers of assam shouting gandhi uh, maharaj ki jai demanded increase in their wages many of them stopped working in the british owned plantations declaring that uh, they were following gandhi ji's wish there's a very interesting thing about the assamese vaishnav song of that time children vaishnav means those who worship vishnu so in the assamese uh, vaishnav uh, songs of that time wherever there was the reference of krishna it was substituted by gandhi raja as it is quite clear that many times people imagined gandhi ji as a kind of masiha who could help them overcome their sufferings and poverty gandhi ji always believed in class unity and not in class conflict but peasants believed that he would help them in their struggle against zamindars and agricultural laborers believed that gandhi ji would provide uh, them land even many times people gave the credit of their own achievements to gandhi ji for example uh, the peasants of prataapgarh uh, now in uttar pradesh organized a movement and managed to stop illegal eviction uh, eviction of tenants but they believed that it was mahatma gandhi who won this demand for them children the future, the further events and happenings of the national movement will be covered in the next video of this chapter now it is the time to check your learning so far so uh, answer these questions first question how did the first world war 
affect the economic and political situation of India? Second question, what was the Rollet Act? Give an account of the Rollet Satyagraha. Third question, what was the Khilafat agitation? Fourth question, write a short note on the non-cooperation movement. If you found this video helpful and you wish to watch more of such content, do consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any queries or comments, please post them in the comment section below. Thank you.